Because it's going into the most high, he's just perfecting the elect, you know, our trials, our trials and our tribulations. We have to go through this, you know, because we're angels. I want to say this. Who is going to be held responsible for all the black blood that has been shed on this earth? You think you're going to get away with it because you think your ancestors did it. That black blood that has been shed by white hands is gonna curse the whole race. The Book of Obadiah. The Vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We've heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye. And let us rise up against her in battle. Behold. Cursed be the ground for our sake. O thorns and thistles, it shall bring forth for us. For out of the ground we were taken from dust we are, and to the dust we shall return. Which teacheth my hands to rule, and my fingers to fight. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Ezra saw himself and said, who is going to deliver me in those things? Why would Ezra say that? Because there was so much destruction that he saw, man. He saw bombs kicking off, man. He saw cannibals on the loose. He saw people running from gunfire. He saw children being raped in alleys. He saw a woman being taken hostage. He said, woe is me. Woe is me. Who is going to deliver me in those things? The beginning of what? The beginning of sorrow. The, Lord said, the, the beginning, beginning of sorrow. Of sorrow. Esau has always been the smallest population on the planet Earth as a people. This is why he had to slave all the other nations and make himself look superior than all, which is fulfilling the scripture of Obadiah chapter 1 verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that are greatly despised. The smallest population Amongst all nations of color, a lies a people. Some people say that Esau is the Arabs, but that's physically impossible because the Arabs is a way larger population than the Edomites, so-called white people are today and have always been. The Arabs is not Esau. In fact, if the Arabs were Esau, then that would not make us the children of Jacob. Because who is the Arabs beefing with today? Who is the Arabs going to war with today? The fake Jews. So for them to be the Esau or the Edomites, you would have to say that the ones that they are fighting are the Jews, the real ones. white population says that people of color are minorities, minorities, that it is the white population that is the, the minority, majority. the minority on the planet. That's the reality you're saying. That's the reality. Yeah. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. Your Excellency. Are you ready 
The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? These books are for white folks. They're full of things your kind wouldn't understand. Were the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. China, the world's second biggest economy, trading with Russia, the world's sixth biggest economy, in local currencies, is already a major blow to the position of the dollar. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. And then one day we're going to have what we could say it's the nuclear option. It's the day when the Chinese are going to tell all major uh, producers of uh, energy in the Persian Gulf that uh, uh, yeah, China will only buy oil and gas from these uh, producers paying in yuan. So I went to China. We persuaded China, don't buy more oil. Can you imagine trying to sanction them after persuading them to put in face sanctions to bring Iran to the negotiating table? We turn around and nix the deal and then tell them you're going to have to obey our rules on the sanctions anyway. That is a recipe very quickly, my friends, business people here, for the American dollar to cease to be the reserve currency of the world. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. The U.S. government was aware that the people brought in through Paperclip were, in fact, Nazis. Operation Paperclip is unusual because it is transferring Nazi scientists to the United States to pick their brains. By the Second World War, people were really starting to think of scientists as a kind of military commodity. Von Braun is the most famous scientist brought over during Paperclip. He was working hard on the space travel idea and on the weaponized component of the V-2 rocket, which were the first missiles of their kind. Mind, when they hit London, people couldn't hear them coming. Just suddenly there'd be an explosion because these would go faster than the speed of sound. thousand years. It's been the capital of Israel for nearly 70 years. It was here that our temple stood, our kings ruled, our prophets preached. Jerusalem has been the focus of our hopes, our dreams, our prayers for three millennia. From every corner of the earth, our people yearn to return to Jerusalem, to touch its golden stones, to walk its hallowed streets. So it's rare to be able to speak of new and genuine milestones in the glorious history of this city. Yet today's pronouncement 
that President Trump is such an occasion. Because the enemy has said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Because the enemy has said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Because the enemy has said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. God sent a message to Obadiah the prophet in a vision. God had news about a country called Edom. The people who lived in Edom were like brothers to the people in Judah. Both groups were descendants of Isaac's twin sons, Jacob and Esau. The people in Edom came from the family of Esau. God's people came from the family of Jacob. The people of Edom didn't love God. They worshiped false gods. They lived in the mountains and trusted the mountains and their own strength to protect them. The people thought that they were better than everyone else. The Edomites didn't get along with God's people in Judah. When the Babylonians took over the city of Jerusalem, the people in Edom just sat back and watched. They didn't try to protect Judah. The people of Edom even went into Jerusalem and took things that didn't belong to them. God said he was going to punish Edom. Listen up, God said. Out of all the nations, you will be the least important. No one will like you. You were proud and I will punish you. You thought you were safe, but I will bring you down. Obadiah's message for the people of Edom was bad news. God was going to allow Edom's enemies to take away everything they had. Even the people who were their friends would steal from them. Many people would be killed. God said to Edom, you were cruel to the people in Judah, so you will be punished. When Judah needed your help, you stood back and did nothing. You laughed and were happy that they were attacked. Every bad thing you did to others will be done to you. The day of the Lord is near, Obadiah warned. Every evil thing you did to others will be done to you. God said that the bad things that were happening to his people in Judah were only for a little while. God would deliver his people. But when I punish you, Edom, God said, everything will be destroyed. Obadiah's message from God had good news for God's people. My people will have the land that belongs to Edom, God said. God's people would return to their homes and God would take care of his people. But Edom's punishment was, for, was, for, was forever. After 12 weeks, the light bulb finally came on for me. We were never under the jurisdiction of the law of Moses and it never had any authority over us. The law of Moses was given only to biblical Israel. He was asking the exact same questions I had learned from Kay Arthur, but he was taking it farther than I had. I will never forget my question that totally stumped him. If the new covenant was given only to the house of Israel and the house of Judah, how can it apply to us today? Crickets. No, 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 this wasn't supposed to happen. 
this wasn't supposed to happen. We can still fix it. We can still fix it. We can still fix it. Please.